friends now we are going to start about local area network so local area network we have studied the basics so we will just elaborate something more about it so i just said that it's the network of different nodes that can be laptop printers but we will introduce a new device or a new node that is the server so the server is that computer it can be called as a super computer which has its own operating system and that actually caters to different computers so what we do in server is we store files which different computers or nodes that may be printer or laptop or mac or any phone can access so in a local house network or a small business we will require different nodes and those servers can act as a temporal space for storing files that different nodes like laptops or printers or macbook or mobile phone may require so this needs connection to the server so in this type of connection we see that the connection is spread over a small region so it can be said as a local area network that is in small way or in a small manner we can say that it is a network in a small premise a office or a small business or any house so we will go into what is metropolitan area network so it's just like the connection spread over a city suppose this are the houses typical indian house so these are connected over a network so what it does is here if a particular house has a network that is called as lan local area network or a business or maybe a office or maybe a particular private network so we see that in local area network it is very simple that means the cost is not that much though it may be used for private purposes that is for a small business or house network we see that the complexity is not that much in metropolitan area network the complexity gets a little more and as well as the price also gets more because there is more networks involved in it we can see that there are different lans involved in it and this when connected each to each other they form what we call as wide area network so it may be spread over a entire city as i told earlier that maybe there is some office that want to access the data of different offices suppose this is any company xyz it wants to access the research branch of it as well as the sales branch of it which are located in different location in a city so they need to share so what will they do is they will connect to form a network now this networks in this we can see this can be different medias this we see are different medias here there may be a pole which we see that are the repeaters that actually over the last distance the uh, wire gets slack for that we require poles this medias can be different nowadays we use optical fibers earlier it used to be cables but nowadays even somewhere we can find those cables but optical fibers are much more efficient so in the previous slide we have seen that we were discussing about lan and metropolitan area network that is man so now we will see wide area network in wide area network it is spread over a region that is the premium category and the main priority is that it must be greater than 30 miles always then it will be considered as wide area network so wide area network is the network which is connected over a region that is greater than a city so let me draw particular area suppose this is a map of a place like malguri these are different cities of malguri some may be bigger cities some may be smaller cities so this individually from man so this individual cities form metropolitan area network but all together combined is what we call as wide area network now how are they combined 
for that we know we require some medias that may be wireless media that may be wired media so for example this city is connected to the city through optical fiber uh, this city is also connected to the city through satellites there are satellites here and maybe through twisted cable coaxial cable so this is an area where different metropolitan area network that is a network in a city are connected together to form a large network which we term as wide area network so the basic and the most important example of it is internet and how it came into its existence is what earlier used to be known as arpa net during world war america developed that is the ministry of defense of america developed a network because earlier it used to be a non distributive type of network so there will be a central node which will be catered to different devices connected in a network so if a bomb falls on a certain area of america then this server may get lost and this nodes that are connecting through a network get disrupted to solve this ministry of defense developed a distributed network that is in which even if the bombs fall here this network may get destroyed but other will function perfectly so even if there is a failure here there may be a different path through which it may be connected like if this uh, particular server gets bombed this may be connected like this so this two was connected to the entire network through this server but now they are connected to this node so at the end of the day it's like connecting all so even if one of the network gets destroyed or bombed all of them will be connected to different paths so this helped america a lot during world war so th that was used to be termed as arpanet which came to be known as what we use nowadays the most internet thanks for watching our videos if you like it then like our videos subscribe to our channel share to your friends and if you have any queries comment down below